I saw churchianity. And I saw, I thought, no way. I don't want this. <laughs> but see, if people, people will, you, what, what's happened in your life so far, if you carry on the way you are, it'll carry on. Yeah. You know, if you aim at nothing, you'll succeed. I'll say that again. If you aim at nothing, you will succeed. But if we start, if we start and actually take Jesus' words as, as literally true, something's going to happen. More and more now, somebody will say, oh, would you pray for me? And immediately I'll, I'll say, I have a text or whatever, and I'll say, we will pray. And I'll, if Jane's there with me, we'll pray immediately. To see a change. We're believing for change. We're believing for Come on, there's more than this, friends. There's more than this. But so many are unaware of this amazing offer of life and purpose. But God wants us to live before we die. I quote Daniel Kalenda, who is the successor of Reinhard Bonke. Daniel Kalenda wrote a book called Live before you die. I've got the book. It's good read. How to find out what the will of God looks like. I'm going to quote something from him in a minute. Who wants to live before they die? Yeah, I mean, when you die, hey, win-win. If you know Jesus, win-win. Well, you know, whether terrorists come or whether some disaster comes, whatever it is, or you just get old. And as we said last week, you know, if we pray for the sick, how people are going to die? They stop breathing. You know, sooner or later, one of, you know, we will stop breathing. And we will enter into eternal life. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? I've got nothing to fear. No one to fear. Nobody can push me down. I am who I am. I know who I am in Christ. I know my God. But there's more than that, believe it or not. There's more than that. <laughs> and that is life in its fullness now. To live before we die. Before I die. Anyone ever seen the film Bucket List? Yeah? Well, I've got a bucket list. And we started sharing this around the table. What's your bucket list? And I said, well, I'd like to go and preach before thousands of people in this country. Come on. I've done it overseas. And then, and then there was something else. And they said, but, <laughs> they said, but um, isn't there anywhere you'd like to go? <laughs> Not really. Well, my bucket list is all in the kingdom of God. <laughs> it's all attaining to having a life before I die. Hallelujah. So God wants that. He wants to discover us to discover an entry. But that, and I'm quoting from, I've abbreviated here, I'm quoting from Daniel Kalender's book, Live Before You Die. And there are five, five, at least five enemies, but he quotes five enemies, there might be more, that will keep us out of God's amazing love. Five enemies. And then we're done. You right? We'll whistle through this. Five things that will keep you and me out of God's fullness of life in the here and now. Number one, procrastination. Putting it off. 